I think I've only ever sold one guitar. Every guitar I've ever bought, I've still got a part from. I sold a, a Washburn G8V one. Oh, well, no, I, I, I'll change that. I sold, sorry, Georgia. That's okay. Um, I had a Wem copycat. And I sold that, and I shouldn't oh, yeah. have sold that. My brother, my older brother who plays guitar, he gave it to me. I swapped, uh, uh, it must be a late 60s Fender Blackface Twin Reverb for a Roland J60. If it was a J120, that wouldn't have been as bad. One speaker. I think I sold a, um, when they were first coming, becoming popular, one of the Boss RC20, I think, the loop pedal. Okay. And having never really used a loop pedal before, I just, I, it completely perplexed me. I think I was going into a, you know, into the front of the amp and didn't really understand how to do the whole um, effects loop stuff at the time. But even though I had an app that had an effects loop at the time, it was like, oh, this, this has got really good reviews, I should probably buy it. Um, and I just never really used it and then I sold it. And then probably a month later, I started reading up about how so-and-so is getting all these cool loops going on. And I was like, oh, I'm just an idiot. No, I haven't really got any regrets on selling stuff because I've generally sort of moved on and got better quality stuff off, I think. I remember I had a, one of the first Jacksons that were ever in the country with a point your headstock slash neck. It was absolutely dreadful. <laughs> so I knocked that on with a, also a radio system from the time as well. I knocked that on as well, so goodbye. Mm. It's got to be BB King. <laughs> my vote, my vote goes for BB King. Guthrie actually, I've already been playing some very incredibly tasteful blues which is just a very minimum amount of notes and really working every note. Gilmore. David Gilmore is another brilliant example, isn't he? Because there's some, you know, the classic recordings. He mm -hmm. says it all with one note, maybe? Many guitar players have different um, person musical identities, if you know, you know, like James Bond, you know, the kind of double persona. And in, the, in a certain context, they might play a million notes, and in a different context, they might play just just the right note. Malmsteen, actually, you were joking about Ingle Malmsteen. I, I remember hearing him uh, playing a blues, just very tasteful, minor pentatonic. I'm a massive Neil Young fan for all sorts of reasons, and he's he's actually he's not very good at the guitar, but that's one of. Them. But it sounds fantastic. Mm -hmm. 